So the valley's on fire. Everywhere I used to fly at is under construction, totally demolished with security everywhere. So I'm walking back from this awful place that is so windy that I was flying at. And I'm gonna do this review walking. And sorry if you get a little bit nauseous, but a couple people <laughs> don't like my living room anymore. So I'm gonna see how this works out and see if you guys like this. <laughs> Anyways, this is Jampan's new prop. And it's a very, very interesting prop because it is a very lightweight, low load prop. And one thing I wanna point out up front is that this yellow color looks really nice in video. But in real life, when you're holding it, it's actually more banana-like than the fluorescent or neon yellow color that the Gemfan 51433 comes in. I wanted to point that out because I was kind of not happy with the color when we got the batch because I was expecting it to be that same neon-y color. And if we do get more, I'm going to try to ask them to make it in that same neon -y yellow color. So this is a very low load prop. It falls into a subset of very few props in the whole industry, and it's... They say it's 2.77 grams. I weighed it on my scale, two scales actually, and I got around 2.8, 2.3 grams. I weighed eight of them and divided them by eight. And so that's the number I got. And so it's just a very lightweight prop. And it's also a low load prop. Those two things are very different. And so I'm not gonna really discuss, this, this, this video is gonna go in a totally different direction than my previous prop videos, because I'm not gonna discuss the specific performance benefits or changes or whatever of this prop because it kind of doesn't fall in the same category as any other five inch mini quad prop other than a very few other props so the few other props it kind of falls in the category with is the dow 5051c which is the 3.3 gram prop that has a ridiculously high pitch on it and then i think there's a new hq tri-blade as well which is a very low load prop as well so Obviously, this prop is intended for a low weight, low load quad that does not require a ton of power to perform the way it does. And performance is, is the main thing that we're going to be talking about here and not like throttle performance in terms of power and speed and all that stuff because that's great and all but there's also a lot more to a lot more going on than just a bunch of power and speed and throttle everything we're going to be talking about control performance and how the quad actually maintains its attitude in the air and how things may improve may get better may not get better so this actually comes from everything i'm going to discuss now comes from my own personal experience as well as discussing things with a lot of various engineers and primarily emacs uh sage thayer is the prop engineer for emacs and i've had a lot of discussion with him and this comes from a discussion with him about the avan prop way back when so response is one thing in a prop we all love having a very, very high response prop, but there's two aspects to response. The first aspect is the RPM change that we ask the prop to do, which is how fast will it actually change RPMs to the, to the rate that we want. The other aspect is how quickly will it begin to start creating thrust or a change in thrust. And those two together is the actual response of the prop. So you might have a prop that is super duper heavy, but it has a super duper heavy pitch and you're gonna put it on a super duper powerful motor and it feels great because you have this great ability to control this heavy, heavy blade that starts processing thrust. It's kind of incorrect. If you have a super heavy pitch, it doesn't necessarily mean it's gonna start processing thrust too soon, but let's say it does just for simplistic sake. You start getting thrust super early in the RPM difference range. And so the quad has great ability to control itself and control everything about its performance and control and throttle and whatnot. Now you take a look at the flip side, you have a super duper lightweight prop that has a super duper low weight, low load pitch on it or low ability to process air. And this thing needs to change RPM so much more in order to start creating the same amount of thrust that something that is more aggressive could start creating. Now the Dahl 5051C is a very, very interesting prop. And it was interesting back when it came out also because it's 3.3 grams and it has an ultra aggressive pitch on it. And so what's super special about that prop is that you have this very, very unique mix of highly aggressive pitch that can maybe start processing air much sooner than other props compared along with a very, very low weight, which will allow it to change RPM much faster than other props that have a similarly heavy pitch on them. So even if that theory about props with heavy pitches stalling before they actually start processing air into thrust, 
may be overcome by the fact that the prop is so low weight that it can change RPM so quickly to make up the difference. And so you get this very, very unique prop that has incredible throttle response for one thing, and it feels ultra smooth in the air, but it's load, it's such a high load prop that it's very inefficient because of how drastic that pitch is. It's like pushing a paddle through the air. So it's got a lot of what we want, but it's not efficient. So it's all about the efficiency of the, of the blade design, the airfoil design, how it's made to actually process the air with respect to its weight and its, its actual aerodynamic load. So this video could go on for ages and ages because it's an endless discussion as to how to change the design of the prop, change everything about the prop in order to get the desired effects. And this is kind of the reason why we keep seeing five inch props come out, even though we have so many really good props nowadays. And so now we're moving into the folding props and that holds a no, whole new dynamic. And uh, there are gonna be more folding props coming and that adds a whole new dynamic to the whole prop game and prop discussion. And we'll just keep moving forward maybe little by little inch by inch and we'll get better and better now the flight video which i'm showing in this video is not on a quad that you would really put this prop on it's on a 700 gram cinematic e kind of setup heavy five inch not heavy but just you know medium normal weight five inch quad and this this prop is really intended for a very low load very low weight quad that doesn't require a whole lot of ability to process air in order or a whole lot of thrust in order to actually manage the load of the quad itself now this quad that i'm flying is actually not light it's it's for this with respect to the blade size and blade aggression and what it can do it's a pretty heavy heavy quad you would expect to want a little bit more out of your prop than this quad that i put it on now there's two reasons why i've done this first reason is because i'm making this video about something that's totally different than what you may have been expecting and the other reason is because i don't want to share what i've been working on in that kind of sort of lightweight department just yet and so you can see that there's a lot of wind bubbles and this is a very gusty area and so in order to handle gusty areas and winds and various changes in environment better you want to have that ability to process air quickly which is response. I'm gonna start calling the ability to process air responsiveness because that is sort of more important than the RPM response specifically of the prop. However, RPM response does give you something else as well, but I'm not gonna confuse things by talking about that also. So yeah, just take a look at the bobbles, see how it goes. And then the next flight that I'm gonna show you is with the folding props, the uh, doll folding prop, which is a much more aggressive prop, much heavier prop. It's a 4.2 gram prop, and it's more appropriate for the size and load of the quad that I'm running here. And you can compare the flight performance and see which one you think performs better. Obviously, the other one is gonna perform better. I've already told you that, but it's for the specific reason that it kind of just matches the quad better, matches the motor better, matches the ability to process air better for the particular setup that I have. Hope that was helpful. Hope it was good food for thought and floss your teeth. See you later.